Hello, this is the last overview of the last Agora day. So I'm here with Fabian Brüggemann, who was elected or re-elected today to the Members' Commission. Actually, he is going to be the new speaker of the Members' Commission. Congratulations, Fabian. Thank you. Fabian, so what was your impression of this uh, last Agora day? Yeah, it was uh, quite a good day. There were not that many surprises, actually. So the elections and also the votes on the proposals, um, from my feeling or in my opinion, were not that surprisingly. However, I had the feeling that at the end of the day, everything was kind of um, quite in a, in a positive mood. Um, there was a quite nice speech of Perchin, which could have been a bit less long maybe, however, there were some really nice things said in the um, final closing plenary and I think the Agora all in all came to quite a good end. Quite a good end. When you say like uh, Agora all in all, so what was your overall impression of the Agora? Was it a good Agora? Um, for myself, definitely. Um, personal reasons, I could give four workshops in total, which I enjoyed a lot, made a lot of experience and I think quite some participants hopefully liked it as well. Um, I founded Asia Düsseldorf two years ago, it has been upgraded to normal antenna now and I became president of the Members Commission. In general I think um, the Agora itself was quite good, however there were of course some things that could have been better, um, were quite freezing in the hotel rooms, the food could have been better, it might have not been the best Agora for newbies, uh, not the best first impression, but um, in general, for myself, like my summary is quite good because Agoras, where not everything is perfect, organized, always brings the people closer together and that that's definitely that, visible. That's very true. Uh, you were also in contact with local organizers, so what was your impression of them? Um, of course, the whole issue was quite big since there were quite some announcements in the plenary, um, playing some ping pong between the city and the local organizers. However, the local organizers I was in contact with, for example, preparing the workshop rooms and stuff, they were very, very helpful. Um, so everybody I talked to personally was very helpful, smiling a lot. But yeah, about the whole situation, I cannot really make a summary so far because I do not know all the details. What kind of impression did you get from the CD, from the new CD? Um, I think in the end they handled everything quite well. Um, some things, for example, Marco today prepared all the workshops because the local organizers were today not there. Um, in contrast to yesterday and the day before, he was very helpful with that. And I also really liked um, Alfredo's um, little speech or um, answer he gave to the local organizers saying that they never intended that they wanted to leave or that they are not going to help them. So I thought that was quite diplomatic and quite wise in a way. Um, I was thinking maybe it would be a bit stronger, but um, luckily it was not. So I think the CD made a good picture as a team. Um, of course, you could see they are not that long in the office yet, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, you also mentioned that you gave four workshops. How come that you gave four workshops during the Sagra? Um, I actually applied for three workshops. I love doing improvisation theater, using that for team building, and. Uh, do that on a professional basis by now as well. And there's another one about uh, how to work together in teams that was accepted. However, one got rejected. When I did the first workshop, a lot of participants could not join for logistical reasons. And so I asked the chair team if I'm allowed to give the workshop again. They were happy about it actually because some workshops were canceled. And so yesterday morning I could repeat my workshop improve yourself, elements with improvisation theater and team building. And uh, during lunch break the chair team told me that I could even give another workshop in the afternoon, the one that has been cancelled before, how to organize a flash mob. So I did that as well and today was the last workshop as planned. And So I was happy I could help out the chair a bit, but at the same time I could make some nice experiences for myself. And I think yeah. Fabian, your workshops enjoyed. are known as the most funny or uh, the, the most inspirational workshops for? Can you give some, so what's the special about it and can you give some advice to other workshop organizers? Um, I don't know what's so special about it, but what I think is very helpful about it is using improvisation theater, it sets free a lot of creativity, there are certain methods that are quite easy to implement 
as long as you like keep it in the boundaries and lead the whole team a bit or the whole participants. So it's very easy to create an atmosphere that is very open, very yeah, funny, very people don't mind saying whatever comes to their mind. And it's very active at the same time. People move a lot and people laugh a lot. And um, I think that creates a very positive atmosphere where people dare to do some things they wouldn't dare otherwise. Just going on stage, playing something, they don't know what it's going to be with people they never saw before, never talked to before, and overcome some own boundaries. And I think this feeling is just great for someone. You know, like challenge yourself and then you see you succeed. And there is no loser at all in a workshop. Everybody wins. Fabian, it's fa only laughing. Fabian, final question. Agoras Obono, what's the next occasion where people can see you? Is the event? I have no clue. I think latest Agora in Sudan since I will be there as Memcom anyway, and I would like to give some workshops. But I'm quite sure there will be some occasions like local training courses, probably a regional training course in the Netherlands where I might give some workshops. Thank you very much, and have a good trip home. Thank you.